Hey, I think it's working. Pay attention. Get to work. Okay, take four. Are we on take three or take four? You can technically take three because you get a lot of when you're on one. Okay, this is new to us, so bear with us. We said we were going to take one take, but this is like our third take. We tried to bring music to the video. And we failed. We tried editing. And we failed. And now we're starting over. We're okay. trying to bring music to the video, but instead you just got us, which we're pretty cool. What is the purpose of this video? The video is to teach you guys about our sweet new software, SharePoint, which is going to just be like your main hub for all things documents and schedule and contacts and benchmark, and Nick will get into all of that later. But it's awesome. going to be awesome. Sweet. Yes, I would agree. It's to roll out our new team website. All right. Now, this new team website, we've been working on it for several months, and it's been in the making for probably about a year now. But uh, it's finally here. We're finally going to roll it out. And there are four main purposes of this that you will use it for. Um, so before we jump in and show you this sweet new site, there. let's talk about the four main purposes that we're going to utilize it for. Number one, the schedule. You're uh, scheduling in vehicles. You're no longer going to go to Google Documents to access this. It will be accessed on the home page of the team site. All right, so we'll get rid of all of that. Um, it'll be very easily accessible once you get into it for the first time, but if you need to find the schedule, it will be hosted here. So that's one. Number two, uh, basically all documents, any documents that we use, which we're going to go through a bunch of them so I can show you different ones uh, that we're currently using. But if you need forms, if you need processes, anything like that, it will be housed at this team site. All right. So, for example, Troy called me the other day and asked me for some total loss documents. You'll be able to log in directly to the team site and get whatever you need. Number three. Number three, um, contacts. Our goal is to give the uh, Rolodex a proper, a proper burial and this be our go-to for all of our contacts. That way we can share them across locations and uh, quickly search them rather than flipping through a Rolodex. So that's, uh, that's going to be one of the main points. And number four is the benchmark report card. Rather than emailing you a PDF of the benchmark like I do every month, I'll probably just send out an email that says it's been updated. Go look at it, print it, post it, talk about it with the team like I always do, and you'll be able to just go to the team site, open it, and you'll have it. Okay? Also, first things first. Also, there'll be some other cool tidbits that you were talking we'll about. The first thing is that you want to log in. Let's do that. All right, so... I'm going to send everybody an email with this link right here. That's thecarcenter.sharepoint.com slash sites slash carcenter home. And I will also send you an email with your login credentials. Um, login credentials consist of per location. So everybody, if you're at Big Rapids, you'll log in from Big Rapids, Cedar, Greenville, same. Um, each location has one login. So. When you go to this link, you will get a sign in here for today's exercise. We're going to log in as Big Rapids. So it's Big Rapids at thecarcenter.onmicrosoft.com. Um, apologize to Scott's Body Shop. A lot of this is hosted as a car center website. It's just because we're the best. So I'm not really, I'm, I mean, I'm kidding. Not really. I mean, sort of. Okay. Big Rapids. Then you will type in the correct password. And you are in at the sexy new home page to our team site. Now, one disclaimer. This button right here will take you back to this home page right here. This button, this home page. If you click on this sexy logo up here, it's going to take you back to Office. Okay, Office 365 is where our team site is hosted, but SharePoint is the platform for our team site. So if you find yourself in Office 365 somewhere, um, that's where, like, for example, 
Word, Excel, PowerPoint. This should all be installed on everybody's computer. If not, we'll have to do that. Um, but this is where you have the most updated uh, copies of all of this software. We will not be using Outlook. We're still continuing to use Gmail for all of our company emails, as well as Gmail for our uh, company calendar. I don't think a lot of people use the calendar, um, but we're using Gmail. Maybe in the future we'll switch to complete Office 365, but for now, um, those are gonna stay the same. So again, if you get back here, you're gonna wanna go to SharePoint. That's where our team site is housed. And you're gonna scroll down here to frequent sites where you'll find Car Center Home. And that's gonna take you back to this home page. Okay, so this is a good button. And this is a not so good button if you're trying to get on the site. Have I missed anything? No. Okay. Lolo's my hype man. You know, everybody's got a hype man. Like when you go to the rap shows, so there's just the guy that, okay. You're so much more than that to me though. Okay. All right. Um, what's next? We're gonna go to our four main things. So number one was the schedule. So you'll see Cedar's schedule is right up here, up top. Greenville schedule and Big Rapid schedule. These are just documents. All this is is a document viewer. So we're going to look at Scott's Body Shop schedule. We're going to click on this and it's going to open us up to the schedule. Now, when you open a document, if you want to edit it, you're going to have to come over here and just hit edit document. And you can actually open up Excel or you can edit it right in the browser. Either one, all of them are going to have live updates just like our current schedule does. So we're going to say update or uh, edit in browser and here you are. Now, um, one thing I did forget to share is when you get to the site, what I would do is right mouse click if you're in Chrome because Chrome's the best. You should be working in Chrome. Um, if you're in Chrome, you can right mouse click and hit pin tab. So you can see that moves this over to the top left here in a small little uh, section and it's always there. That way we're not doing the login process every time. Um, that's how I have it on my computer. So as soon as I open up and I start it, it's always right there. Make sure you click the uh, keep me logged in button when you first log in and then you won't, you should never have to log in. Maybe hit the refresh button once in a while, but you're always there. Um, so let's go back to the schedule. Same thing. Any documents that you're going to use on a day-to-day -day basis, I suggest that you do the same. So this schedule, because we're scheduling customers every day, I'm just going to pin that tab. Same thing. It's right over here. I have it open. Again, I might have to hit refresh from time to time, but for the most part, I've got my schedule up and running live. And when it comes to the schedule, Scott's really is the best. They color coordinate when a customer drops off. Yeah. Super it's way more detailed than measly car center yeah, team yes. members. Just kidding, car center. You guys are the best. Um, okay, so that's that. You mentioned one other, like maybe if if they're not. I know some of the guys at Scotts use uh, Internet Explorer versus Chrome. If you're using Internet Explorer, you can put a, a link on your actual desktop of your computer. And then you can just click on it from there and it'll open up your browser with it in there. If you need to know how to do that, just go ahead and get a hold of me. We're not going to go through it on the video and I can teach you how to do that. Sweet. Or Joe Yost. He's a computer genius. Shout out to you, Joe. All right. Um, so, all right. So we went over the schedules. That's one of the main reasons. So this is, this is where you're going to go. And if you don't have it pinned to your tab or you don't have a quick link. All right, number two we talked about was documents. So we're gonna go through a few of these documents. The most important ones that you're gonna go for the most, we tried to put on the home page here. Um, so we'll start with SOPs. So here's your less used SOPs, that's a folder. You can expand that, um, which you won't use as much. We can go back here. There's some PPG SOPs that are in there. And then the ones listed right here, are all the ones that I'm quite certain you all have memorized word for word. So for example, my all time favorite, let's just look at this one, the checking our customer experience dashboard right there. All right, and we can close out of that. Um, we talk, the drop off checklist is a great one. 
executing, executing daily production, the mapping legends in here, uh, the warranty stuffs in here. So those are some of the ones that we have built right now um, that are there. If we bump over one column, we're looking at insurance tools. So a couple folders here. I think the most important document in this uh, DR in this insurance tools category, if you open DRP guidelines, now hopefully most of you have already seen this, but DRP parts usage right here. So if we look at this, this should answer 95% of your questions when you go to look for the uh, insurance book. So for example, OEM usage, LKQ usage, aftermarket remand, um, let's go look at Memix here. So Memix uh, five older than five years, more than 60,000 miles um, is when we can use aftermarket parts now. Current model or newer, um, less than 15,000 miles, only new OEM. So these are, again, do I need a betterment? Do I not need a betterment? What's the NAGS discount? Um, can I mark up sublet? Like I said, 95% of your uh, quick questions when writing an estimate should be answered right here. We have these for almost every one of our uh, DRP insurance companies. If I'm missing something, if you'd like to see something, anything like that, um, welcome the feedback so we can continue to improve this stuff. This is another document that I would definitely pin to, uh, to my tabs because you're writing estimates every day, you're going for this document for quick references. Okay, so we're gonna come back here to SharePoint and we were talking about insurance tools. Um, so we're still in the DRP guidelines column. Um, let's see, what else is in here? Standard list, State Farm photo guidelines. Um, Again, if you have any documents that belong in this category or that you're looking for, please upload them, put them in here, or ask me, I'll get them, I'll put them in here. We wanna build this list, so everything we have is in here. Uh, for example, let's go back to insurance forms. You're doing a job for GEICO and you need a GEICO supplement form. Um, that's what we want in here. So rather than emailing the adjuster and getting him to send it to you and waiting for it or anything like that, we want those documents in here. If you go to look for one and it's not in here, again, upload it. So supplement request forms. There's that Geico one and Allstate one. If there's others that you go and you use and they're not in here, let's talk about uploading. So just click this upload button. I want to make sure it's in the right file, right? I wouldn't want to uh, insurance form over here in the SOPs category. So make sure we're in the right files uh, and the right folders and just hit upload file. And then if an adjuster emailed it to you or you have it on your desktop, you're gonna find it here and just go ahead and upload it. And then it will be there. Earlier you asked if that would be available right away or not. Um, so, if I hit see all here, you'll see this category it says approved. Um, so anytime anybody uploads something or changes a document, it does send me an email. That way I can stay up to speed on all the changes and it'll only take me a little bit to go ahead and uh, approve that and then it will be available for everybody. Okay. Okay. So I'll click that logo, which is gonna take us back to the home page. I think that was pretty much everything. I would definitely encourage you guys to go through these documents. You've probably seen a good majority of them, but there's probably a lot in here you haven't seen. So there might be some tools that make sense to use or that you would like to use. There's probably gonna be some stuff in there that you don't really care about, um, but I would just encourage you to go through it and get familiar with some of this stuff. Like for example, the insurance DRPs SOP. This is another really important one um, probably not for, for most of you guys that have been here for a while, but it, we're going to try and use it for training, but like State Farm, you've got your hot buttons, um, so a lot of the things they're looking for before upload, the way you final bill it, um, so we have those built for quite a few insurance companies. Same with uh, total loss guidelines, what they're looking for on total losses. So these documents aren't perfect, they're just under development, things we're trying to continue to build up. That's insurance tools, okay?
So then if we hop over one more column, we have our shop level 10 KPI. If you're going to have a level 10 meeting and you need uh, a fresh form to fill out notes, that's going to be right here. Shop level 10, um, level 10 shop level. You just go ahead and click on that and then you can print it. And then you've got your fresh copy. Publisher, so that's a publisher document. Publisher is a little weird, so it just downloads it. Okay, so you can, it downloaded it right down here and then it opened it up on my other screen. And then there's your document. You can print it for your level 10 meeting. If you need the KPI form to fill out numbers, go ahead and just click on the KPI form and then Greenville, Cedar, Scotts, it's all here. Click on the correct one. It's important to go to here once in a while because this is where the most updated copy is going to be. So if we change something on the KPI form, change a name or change a target, um, it's going to be live here. Rather than using your old version that's on your computer, um, this will be where all the, all the most updated copies are. All right. So. where they open it in mm -hmm. SharePoint. So let's see here. So you're going to have to, it's kind of weird on this home page. They're not really going to be updating any of these. We're going to, we're going to jump into that once we get into documents, I think. Let's jump down here to scorecards. So this is where I was telling you about the benchmark report card. This is where it will be the most updated copy. All right. So when I send an email that it's, uh, that it's updated, all you got to do is log on to the site, go ahead here and click this document. Again, this is just like the schedule. It's another Excel document, a much more elaborate Excel document. Um, but if you go down to the tabs here, you've got benchmark report card for the month. And then there is the year to date one. And you can just print those right from here. Easy peasy. All right, so that's documents. Let's, uh, those are the most used documents. Let's go a little bit deeper real quick and just see if we can overview. If there's other documents we're looking for, you're gonna go over here to documents. And then you have the rest of these categories. So there's not much here that most of that stuff is uh, for the ladies and accounting. Um, that folder is actually empty. Before and afters, if you have before and afters or additional new ones, I'd love for you to upload them. But if you go in here, this is currently what we have for all of our before and afters. Okay. This is a lot like, uh, you should be able to change. I thought you could change the, uh, actually you have to do it from, bear with me here. You go to documents. Yeah, there's a thumbnail. So there it is right there. So if you change this, you can change it to thumbnails, just like on your computer to where you see the boxes. It's just how you ever you want to view it. So there's before and afters, and then you can actually see some of those pictures. They'll populate. So it'd be nice to get some more on there so we can use those for marketing. If you have them, upload them. We're going to go back. Um, so body shop inventory. Let's let's uh, let's take a quick detour here. So over here, you're going to see an inventory. This is going to be a future function that we use. So eventually, we're going to want a we're going to build a searchable, populated list that we can actually search quarter panel stuff that we have. It's not built yet. So if we go back to documents, body shop inventory, there's parts list at Greenville. Um, there should be, we should get one built. Cedar doesn't have much, but it'd be nice. I know, Mike, uh, you have a list over at Scott's. So if we can get that uploaded into here, that would be great. Again, open it, hit upload, upload the file, and then it will be here for all of us. Um, but if you want to see if there's any quarter panels or headlights or anything that we can sell, that's where that list is. Core values, bringing on a new hire or just need to copy it. Everything we have in our core values is listed here. 
Um, so daily production forms is a pretty big one. There's a lot in here. Um, these are pretty much, yeah, everything we have. Rental, product uh, change form. We don't use that one a whole lot. Um, there's the cash receipts. Pride sheet, pre, post. Again, this is where your most updated copy is going to be. So if the post check change or the pre check change, if there's been something that we've added to it, for example, we added a uh, check in batteries. We're going to, Greenville's been focusing on checking the batteries. We got a battery uh, tester. We do that at the pre check now. So the most updated copy will be in here. There may be some forms that aren't in here that only the copy center has. Is that correct? There are going to be a few that copy center have. It's just things that we haven't moved to in, in the last four years. So if that's the case, then we have to call Jane at copy center and have her get a copy okay. of them. But most of them should be in here. The majority of what we have will be from. This is still semi-new, so once we all start using it, the goal is to let us know if something's not here that you're looking for, because then we can get it there and we don't have to deal with it again. So daily production forms, all the stuff we use on a day-to-day -day basis, everything that's in that, you know, middle folder section that we use. I'll continue to organize those a little bit better because Peter and Scott and Kayla all have a little bit more variation of things. And so it'll eventually be in more organized categories so you can easy, per location. easily find it. Yeah. Awesome. Maintenance equipment. Um, so this is basically the refinished maintenance, uh, area maintenance that we created that got originated out of a level 10 at Scott's because Scott's is the best. Um, so that's what this is. And then again, see process document PD0420. So if we go back to where we were looking at, that should be labeled right there, PD040. Um, one other side note, like here, DAD500-2. The dash twos in these documents actually represent the uh, page number. So like the Hercules gun washer cleaner, this is the whole gun washer cleaner uh, book, but the dash 10 uh, represents page 10. We scroll down to page 10. It's going to talk about that procedure that we are talking about in that document. In this case, it's the uh, flocculent process. I just love that. <laughs> All right, so where are we here? We are reviewing the rest of these documents. Uh, equipment maintenance procedure, KPI stuff, there's not much in here. File audit, trend tracker, I did make this stuff available to everyone, but nothing that you really use. Um, logos, if you need a copy of a logo for marketing, for anything, it's in here. All the different versions of logos that we have. Uh, marketing, and you're going to find mostly photos and stuff. Um, so there's all kinds of different photo shoots that we've taken at both places. Um, same, same place with Scott's photos like let's go find a fun photo look at that guy oh man he's also found on our home page oh yeah he is this guy he's always hard at work okay let's go back let's get out of marketing Miscellaneous shop operations. This is going to be the last file that there's quite a bit in here. It's not really the miscellaneous uh, folder, but kind of. Um, anything we've used, for example, the edge competition, uh, when we tried to see who could get the least amount of phone calls. Um, some of the new uh, labels that we've used for our parts department. We've been labeling where the parts drop off is. Um, Everybody remembers this one, right? This is when we kind of just were trying to take our bar and put it to the next level, so we created that document in there. Um, what are some of the ones? Refinish boards, that's what's on our production boards out for the technicians. Um, phone call evaluation, this is one that we've used for the uh, 
level tens. It's Loretta's favorite. She just she's weird for some reason. She loves hearing her own voice. Not for level tens. For grow or die. Grow or dies. I'm sorry. And I do not love the sound of my. Grow or dies. Yeah. So this is a document that we created that basically says what does it say here? It's for when we evaluate your phone call. We it's make a, sure that we're hitting all those main main things that we want to when we're on the phone with customers. Yes, she actually developed this. Uh, form, which was great, was the call answered in a hand, uh, handled enthusiastic tone. So when we have a grow or die over our phone calls, we pull this document out and we answer the questions, each of these questions to, uh, to every call. So that's what that is. What else is in here? Anything worth talking about? Uh, major component log is in here. That's an important document. Um, the Edge 101 guide is in here, also an uh, important document. Holiday close signs is in here. So again, it, it kind of is the miscellaneous. There's a lot in here, but um, if you're having a hard time finding something, it's probably in here, okay? Again, if you're using stuff, like I know Lewis uses a lot of stuff. Lewis, we, Lewis needs a shout out right now. He is the master of uh, core value meetings in the morning which I must say Loretta is really coming up and doing an amazing job herself lately. She's been killing it here at Car Center. Um, up my game. Thanks to you, Mike. That's right. He is the inspiration behind that. So he's been doing an awesome job. But if documents come out of those type of projects, I, I ask that you uh, include them, upload them, take a minute and save them on here to, uh, so that we can all, so we can all save them. Or better yet, start them in here. So check this out. So if you go and you do, where is that? How do you do that? So when Nick and my defense, since we learned SharePoint, they've switched a few things and updated it. And so it's still just a little bit of a learning curve for us. Over there, type, would that just separate the type of, yeah, that's a filter. Well, it has to come back to that. But I know there's a way to, like, start a document in here. So rather than opening up Microsoft Word on your uh, computer and starting a document. No, it's not in here. We'll get back to you We're on that. We're going to get back to you on that. But there is a way to start a document in here so that way it automatically gets saved to SharePoint rather than having to upload it. All right, so... Let's come back here. We talked about all of that. Um, review tools uh, for you managers. Um, here's all your review tools. If we ever have to use that nasty notice of warning, it's here. Um, the performance review uh, guide. This is something that I would download, uh, just download to your computer. So Loretta asked about that earlier. So if you just click on a form, it's going to, well, that's going to preview it. But if you go back and you, you can either download it um, or you can right mouse click it. When you right mouse click it, you can open it in browser. Okay, but again, publisher's kind of weird. So like it's Word. It's a PDF. It's oh, a PDF that's a PDF file. Yeah. Okay. So do the one right next if to If you it. go back to this list view, it kind of is a little bit more clear for me. Okay, so let's just look at this Word document. If you right mouse click it, oh, that's Publisher. If you right mouse click this, you can open it in Word Online or open it in Word. If you do either of those two and make changes to these documents, it's gonna update the documents. So if you really wanna change a form, that's how you would do it. Again, that's going to come to me and I have to approve it before it can go live. Um, but if you just want the document, then like, for example, if I'm doing a performance review, really, is that the PDF one? Yeah, that's the PDF. So this one, I want to either, I can go here or I can go up here. I really just want to download it. And then it's going to bring it to my computer and I can download a copy of it. If I'm trying to change it, though, I don't want to download it. I want to open it. I want to use this and open it in here. So that way it saves the changes to Publisher. Is that clear as mod? 
was a little foggy. Just make sure that when you're actually doing a performance review, that you're doing it on the file on your computer, not on the file on SharePoint, because you don't want everyone to have access to the review that you're currently writing. That's private and confidential and should remain on your computer and then be put into our Bamboo software, not into our SharePoint software. All right, All right but the rest of these, um, like the performance review questions, rather than giving somebody, you know, the form, you hand them this document where it just lists the five questions. Okay, that's all there. So, I kind of, I have mixed emotions about these views. I like both of them. So that's all performance review stuff. And then the last one is the team handbook. If you want to copy the team handbook, it's right there. That sums up documents. So one last cool thing is if you don't want to have to click your handbook panel, you can use the search feature at the top and just, you can just type in like, say you're looking for a fax cover, you can just go ahead and type in fax. It'll search for it. And then it should come up there. You can see it's the third one down, fax cover, Greenville. The other ones do look like they need to be updated in there. But um, it's a little bit quicker than having to sit there and try to figure out what folder everything's in and where things are. You can search from the home screen, too. Um, so if I'm at the home screen and I searched fax, let's see what results it gives me. Yeah, see, so that pulls that up right there, Facts Cover Greenville. That actually worked a little better. When you're in a subtitle and you search, it's searching within that subtitle. So that's just searching your documents. Now, what we've noticed is that uh, Microsoft is putting a lot of work into SharePoint right now. So like she said earlier, since we've been doing it, they've been making changes. So, um, yeah, if they... If it changes, then you're just going to have to keep up with it. So we went to documents. We searched documents. We talked about um, editing them in the program versus downloading them. Uh, so let's jump to one of the last main four things, um, and that's contacts. So right here is contacts. And again, you have a list of... Um, a lot of contacts. We've already uh, migrated the majority of our Rolodexes into here. The key to this being successful is maintenance. If you look for a contact and they're not in here, put them in here. Scott's, I know Terry has some time on her hands once in a while. Maybe you can migrate your entire Rolodex in here. Um, that's what we did. But uh, this is once it's all here, it's so much easier. You jump on the team website, you search for who you look, you search for who you're looking for, and you have it. Um, and that way, we can all share contacts as well. So Dens Plus, Denny for Compass. How do you pronounce Denny for Compass? Okay, uh, he's right there. So you have your company, mobile number, um, contact type, address, city, all that good stuff. So. Over here, if it doesn't, if it wasn't open on this, there's this little filter button. Kind of looks like a beer bong, actually. Um, but if you click that, you have your different types. So let's say I want to look for somebody from State Farm. I could just go down here to Company, click State Farm, and it's going to show me all my State Farm contacts. Okay. Again, we can also search. So if I want to search for that Dave guy, who is that Dave guy? I swear his name was Dave. Oh, that didn't help. Crickets. Crickets. We have not yet put that Dave guy in the system. Where's that Dave guy? I swear he's right there. How about Bowers? All right, so if I'm being completely honest right now, we have struggled with search function in contacts. We're still working through it. Um, but like, there's Abby. I just searched Abby and she's right there.
So it searches by last name very well. I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Prove it. All right, so let's go back and search for Dave. Okay, yeah. that was weird. So I searched for that Dave guy. There's all my Daves. Same thing. For some reason, it doesn't want to search by company. I've been working with Microsoft to figure out why. But like if I search Halida, wow, this is being really glitchy. <laughs> it, we swear it didn't do that. I worked it's in... it's last name. It's last oh, it's because it's his last name. Okay. If you were to type in State Farm. If I were to type in State Farm. And that's where you're going to want to use. Now, uh, that's because it's first name. Okay. Claims. This is under claims, and whoever loaded this put it under their first name. But as you saw in the previous example, there were lots of state farms. Okay. So it doesn't search by company name. That's why Loretta found this really cool feature over here. Let's go back to contacts and the filter. When, it's, when searching by company, it's nice to just come over here. Here's all the different companies that we have. Okay. So you guys can play with this. I haven't spent a lot of time in here, um, but it's an easier access point for all of all of our vendors, all of our contacts. So what happens if somebody's not in here? Make sure you add it. Like I said, uh, maintenance is going to be the key to the success. So I just click here and I hit new and then just type it in. Contact type is, well, that's a contact. Last name, first name. The only drop down, I believe, is contact type down here. So you got, is it a part vendor, sublet vendor, company vendor, blah, 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 miscellaneous DRP, claims rep, insurance claims, all that good stuff. All right. And just make sure you go to the top and hit save. And make sure you go to the top and hit save. See, because the contact type, where's all my insurance field adjusters or my DRP claims reps? You can start to look at all that. Okay. Contacts. So I'm going to click this button to go back home. So what are some of the other little fun features? We talked about inventory coming soon, right? You don't really have to worry about site contents. That's kind of like a mass location of everything that's on the site. Anything that you need, yeah, see, that's just, just another view of everything. That's a big mess, because everything else is all organized for you, so you'll probably just stay out of that. Yep. The goal was that we put everything that you're mostly going to go to on this homepage right here, and then otherwise maybe to documents and contacts. Okay? So, other fun features. Like, like this, like this right here, like... We're making a video of us. It's kind of cool. I didn't think we were going to be able to do it, but we figured it out. And then there's this guy. Rock and roll. So this is like, actually, whatever. If you want to add stuff. Is when you see pictures of things happening in the shop. You can post in there. If you want to do a shout out to somebody who's really represented the core value, you can do it there. If you just have something funny to post, a funny video or funny anything, you can post it on there. Like the first thing that comes to my mind is Todd from Scott's used to always send us faxes about Gayville. And so I'm just like <laughs> picturing him. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. This is Don't kind of like that. the message board or yes. um, like your bulletin board where you can pin things on there. Like or look at the servant leadership right here. Like look at those guys, man. They're just working hard. Back there, washing cars. But let's not forget about my favorite here. You got to hit see all and scroll down. She worked really hard to try and get rid of this, but it just won't go away. The only person that can delete that is Nick, and he refuses. That was me testing the software to see how that feature worked, and it got stuck there when I thought I could just delete it. So he's very much enjoyed the fact that I can't. Party time. She's a hardcore partier. Okay. How many, well, I don't even know when this was. All right, we're wasting time now. That was a pudding. Okay, so what? So how do I do? Oh, Troy's calling me. Sorry, Troy, you're going to have to wait. Sorry, Troy, you're going to have to wait. We're in the middle of a very important video. 
So if I want to be cool and have fun, like if I was in Cedar Springs and I wanted to act, because Cedar Springs is the best. They're literally the best. I know I've said that about everybody else, but Cedar's killing it, mostly because of that guy, Troy. All right, so I just hit add, and then I want to be like, Nick and Lolo, this site rocks. You can add a picture to that, or then if you, that's your background picture, yeah. But really, if you just want to add a picture, then you go in here and you hit add image. And then you're going to have to have it on your computer. So if you want to upload it, I know nobody will probably use this, but you can upload it from your computer here. And then you can have fun pictures on there. You guys should prove Nick wrong and actually do it. You should. It would be fun. As well as pictures, you can also just put post little messages or notes or... Um... So, but don't forget, there's another spot to do if you just want to message. Um, yeah, if you want to message back and forth where you have responses, then we'll go back to our home page. Somehow. Okay, so that was the picture things. Um, let's just, let's skip, let's scroll all the way to the bottom. This is the comments. So if it's something important, I wouldn't put it here, but what I think would be good for this is if like non-urgent request to the site, I'll come down and I'll check this once in a while. So like if you want a document or you think it'd be cool, if you want to post a comment here, you can post comments and I'll see them randomly. Um, again, they don't get emailed to me. So if it's anything urgent, Email, text message, phone call is going to be better, but it's just it's just one more form of communication because we need one more form of communication. Yeah, always. We need. Really can't wait. Like Voxer. Voxer is the best. Yeah, if you don't have Voxer yet. If you don't have Voxer, you are not on the in. I can see you through the computer reflection. <laughs> okay, so we came back up here. Also, non-urgent questions yes. about SharePoint, that's a great place to post those as well. And then if you want to see that, if we know it, we can go ahead and answer you right there because other people may have the same question. And if we don't know it, then that gives us a little bit of time. We can research it and get back to you later. Okay. We need to speed this up. It's been 42 minutes. Quick links you don't really care about. Um, none of you will really use this. But if you want to go to the calendar, go to your email. These are just these are different sites that we use. So they're just linked here. None of them are completely important to you guys. Bamboo. And then this is just activity, what's been going on. This shows you recent things that have been happening. That's it. Okay. Very brief uh, recap. Four main things is the schedules. This is your new go-to place for the schedule. And um, your main documents that you're going to be using, SOPs, insurance tools, shop level 10 stuff. So, And then the rest of the documents are going to be here. That was number two. Contacts. Making this your go-to spot for your contacts and making sure you add contacts as you need them rather than throwing that business card in the garbage, putting it on here so we can all use it, and the benchmark update. That's it. I hope you guys love it. I hope you enjoy it. And more importantly, I hope you give feedback, requests, not urgent questions or requests. This site can actually be used for a ton of different stuff. Um, there's lots of capabilities that we haven't really even discovered yet. So if you have other ideas that uh, that you think would be cool, then please let us know. Again, I will email you this link, thecarcenter.sharepoint.com. Um, and I will also email you your credentials. Big Rapids will have a login. Cedar will have a login. And Greenville will have a login. That's it. Did we miss anything? Thanks for learning with us. Thanks so much. Grow or die. I choose to grow. That was a good ender comment. Okay.